What? Flowers? For me? Let's add custom flowers to Minecraft. Alright, we find ourselves back in Tilted once more, and in this tutorial we're going to be adding custom flowers, custom potted flowers, and custom flower generation all in one video. This has actually been requested more times than I would imagine, but fair enough, let's just go ahead and do this. So in the mod blocks class, we're just going to, well, let's just copy the red maple over here. This is going to be the jasmine flower. This is going to be jasmine and this is going to be jasmine as well. This is, of course, going to be a flower block with some different parameters. The first parameter is actually the effect this has in a... Uh, in a suspicious stew so this is going to be let's just do sure glowing why not and then this is the duration in seconds i believe i'm not sure it definitely is not in ticks i can tell you that it's not in ticks which is very strange but it is what it is so let's just do four i think four is gonna be fine let's do five sure five is okay and then let's copy the dandelion properties here and then we should be fine now we of course also want a potted block right this is actually important so this is going to be the potted underscore jasmine same with the name over here, potted underscore jasmine. However, this actually uses either, uh, this actually does something else, and that is actually blocks.register. So we don't want to use the register block right here. We actually want to use the register block class over here, but um, from the deferred register. I'm unsure why this uh, wouldn't want this to work. Let's see. Oh, because of the creative mode tab. Of course. I'm sorry. There you go. And now, now though, it will be fine. Now, this is, of course, now a flower pot block. And this is extremely important. The first parameter here is actually going to be a supplier of blocks.flowerpot.cast. And then we want to cast blocks.flowerpot, this one right here. And we want to ca cast this to a flowerpot block class. And uh, I believe this should be fine. Yes. And then the second parameter is modblocks.jasmine. There you go. Um, and that should be it. Yep. So there you go. So we want to basically give it the a block or the yeah the flower pot without anything in it and we also want to give it the actual flower here and that should be pretty much fine now there's one more important thing that we actually need to do to properly register the potted jasmine here or the potted block and that is in the tutorial mode class or in your main class in the common setup we want to add the flower pot as well now this has to happen at the top of the on work runnable if you do this at the bottom it doesn't work i don't know why um but it is the case so what we want to do is we want to say block start flower pot that cast and once again cast this to a flower pot block then after the pr uh, closing parentheses add plant exactly this one mod blocks dot uh, jasmine dot get id and then the second parameter is mod blocks dot potted jasmine uh yeah without anything actually there you go that is it that should be it. it's get id actually thank you and there you go so we have the id right here and then this basically maps the jasmine to the potted jasmine and then once you actually set down a pot and right click it with the jasmine then well it should just make that a potted jasmine block very interesting indeed and now we just need to add the well all of the different things right the textures the uh, models the translation and the block stage json files so let's add those as well so we have a json file for the block state for both the jasmine as well as the potted jasmine now, as you can see both of them are actually normal block state json files now the only thing with the jasmine over here is that for whatever reason there apparently is some sort of uh, you know jasmine.json like file that is added somewhere this is why this is uh, you know marked as yellow because it uses the jasmine.json schema i have no idea what that even is but i'm just i just basically change it to like schema version 4 and then the you know the warning over here goes away if you get this warning as well if you name this jasmine.json don't worry about it it is totally fine and safe to use uh, it just is kind of weird there we go, also added the translations, nothing insane over here, literally just, you know, added the translations. Uh, also make sure to add the translation properly for the pot, even though it's not really used. If you have something like one probe installed, when you hover over the pot, you also want a proper translation here, I definitely do suggest that. Let's copy over the block model JSON files as well, there we go, the jasmine and the potted jasmine, and of course right here, what you can find is that this once again has jasmine.json, weird, weird schema. I have no idea why th this is the case. And then here we also want to add the render type cutout over here, making sure that we have this as well. And we want this for both of them, I believe. 
I'm actually unsure. I don't think we need it for the potted one, I guess. Um, because I don't have it for the potted one. So I believe we only need it for this one right here. And that should be fine. And there we go. Let's get the item for the Jasmine as well. Because the potted one, of course, doesn't have an item. And this is going to be the same thing, right? Again, a warning here. Let's just change this. And there we go. Now we just need the block texture. This should only be one texture. As it is only the Jasmine... Well, the block itself. Uh, the flower itself. And there we go. Now, that should be pretty much all that we need in this case uh, for the actual block itself. Now, we also, of course, want to spawn the particular Jasmine. Now, this is actually not very complicated. In the mod configured features class, let's just copy this over. All of this is, as always, of course, available to you in the description. I'll get up a pause for an individual just as well. You can see this is a configured feature of type flower. 32 tries, 6xz spread and 2y spread. Highly suggest playing around with the numbers. If you want more flowers, just get a higher tries. Uh, if you want them further apart, do those higher over here. So xz spread and y spread should make them further apart. And then we're basically placing it only if this is an empty block and we're placing down the jasmine over here. The place feature, similar thing goes for the place feature. Let's just go right here. And then you can see we just have the Jasmine placed over here with an on average 16. So this should be, I believe, placed down every, is like on average, every 16 chunks-ish. Um, and well, it also has a height map, also a spread. I believe those are just sort of generic things that you're going to need. And that is pretty much all that we need to add the Jasmine to the world generation. Of course, we still need the Bioma modifier. Let's add this as well. Let's just get the red maple over here. That's going to be the add jasmine. There you go. And then the jasmine is going to look like this. We're going to also add it to the planes. I like this. This is jasmine underscore placed. And that is it. Vegetal decoration is absolutely correct. And this is all that we need to do. So you can see actually everything in one video. We have a normal flower, a potted variant of that flower. We have added it to the world generation as well. So let's go into the game, make a new world and see if our beautiful flower has been added to Minecraft. All right, finds us back in Minecraft. And let's just try and see <laughs> that that's, that's actually very funny there. But let's just see. I think I already spot my flower no that is actually not my flower well there you go so so much for that one let's just find a um like a real plains biome uh, i know that this should actually wait a second there they are they already they already are there there they are look at them the jasmine i actually you know this is this is actually done by myself so this is my own uh, custom texture over here um and i think that you know it's not that bad it definitely looks like a flower okay like <laughs> at least give me that uh, it looks like a flower. It doesn't look that bad. All right, let's get a pot over here and let's see if this also works, but I'm pretty confident that it does. Well, okay, it almost works, but um, there, apparently there's some weirdness going on here. Um, so we'll definitely have to check that one out. Uh, I'm unsure why that would be the case. So we definitely get the flower back, but there is something wrong with the texture. Very interesting. I've not seen that before. Also, it does change the... Uh, the thing over here so let's just take another look i'm pretty sure this should be the either the block state or the block model where something weird has happened but overall uh let's just go and see what it goes going on with this and indeed for whatever reason the potted jasmine block model here for me was wrong i have no idea why that is the case actually this should be looking like this so it should basically well have a texture over here have the cutout and all of that so, um, yeah, you're going to have, of course, the correct JSON file, but just for completion's sake, let's go back and actually see if it works now, but I'm pretty confident that it will. All right, so there you go. Now the thing actually works. Now what is very strange is that the actual model here is, you know, like, like it's sort of, I don't know why it um, changes its position. So this is basically a thing that happens when you place down a a flower on its own in the world, right? So it is always like in a little bit of a different position. And for whatever reason, it does the same thing here. I am unsure as to why that is the case. It shouldn't be happening. So if anyone knows why that would be the case, I'll definitely pin that comment if you have a solution for that, because I have not actually seen that before. So I don't know why that is the case, why that would happen. But you know, Overall, though, it does work fairly well. So um, b apart from the moving of the flower pot, which is very strange, but there you go. That is pretty much how you can add custom flowers to world gen and also to a pot. Very nice. Right, but that's going to be it for this tutorial right here. I hope you found this useful and you learned something new and I'll see you all in the next tutorial. Oh, so, yeah.